all right so welcome again to military guna tv thank you very much for joining me and we will be discussing the nations league um this morning this is a bit high let me put it down a bit we'll be discussing the, Na the nations league this morning so hopefully guys smash the like button hit the subscribe button as well as you know channel is still trying to grow still in the youtube prison but that's how it is that's how it is um also um i have something i have a small thing to show you guys and so as a young boy in jamaica growing up right we all play football we all play football but i'm going to show you something i want to show you guys this and i want you to read it i want you to read it, people i want you to read it no if any one of you guys who claim that you know football and you've played football especially specifically in jamaica and this has never happened to you before or you have never played with, with played with this go into the comment section and tell me that you have never done it and I'm going to come, come I'm, I'm going to reply to you in the comment section. This is it, people. Have a look at this. So this is it. If this ever wet and slap you in your face, you can't believe you can't believe this is not, not illegal. People, have you ever when you're a young guy or a young boy playing football in Jamaica and you're playing with a ball like this, and when it wet and a man kick it and it hits you in your face, can't tell a man. Tears, <laughs> tears come to the eyes. But anyways, people, um, thank you guys for tuning in, um, guys. Hopefully, guys, you smash a like button, people, because that is the only way you can really, really help me come out of the YouTube prison. We will be discussing the Nation League um, this morning and also the aspect of the Nation League. So that's what we're here for this morning. Um, let me bring it up so you guys can see. Um, let me bring it up. So in the meantime, I want you guys to smash a like button and hit that subscribe button smash that like button and hit that subscribe button people um let me see if, I, if we're seeing this at the right aspect so let's let's start from the top so basically there's we're, we're here to discuss the nation league as you, as you can see um promoted jamaica promoted jamaica this this is how they started it promoted jamaica joined familiar elite nation elite nations for a shot at getting back on compe competitive tracks and we know um th this is this is the title you won't see all the title I'm, i do apologize for that um it has, has more to do um so getting back on track um after disappointment failing to read um re to, to, to fail off the world cup world um qualifiers campaign so i'm going to get into the article so jamaica reggae boys let me see. i'm going to check first if you guys are seeing clearly so let me know if you guys are seeing article um the article clearly let me know if you guys are seeing the article clearly. So, the Jamaica Reggae Boys um, are in 12 nation top group for, are in the 12 nation top group for CONCACAF Nation League Trophy, which kicks off in May and will need a visit, no, a, need a vast improvement if they are going to make an impact. So, for me, personally, I think we need to go all out for this Nation League. I really think so. Um, the boys whose recent um, this mail um this may record saw theodore tapa whitmore leave his role as head coach of the reggae boys no that's that's happening in december no new 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 coach coming in paul hall as you guys know um coming in to make a change basically um to see if he can actually rectify what has gone wrong over the World Cup qualifiers over that World Cup qualifiers campaign and how he can um he can get get the right footing in, but we will see. Let's read into the article. So I won't read much of this part. So Jamaica one reveals a uh, visit to Costa Rica. That that is most speaking about um that. All right. So here's what happened. Now. The Nation League draw in Miami takes place in April, with Jamaica having been promoted alongside El Salvador. Grenada and Suriname to League A. There will be four groups of three round robin games with the top teams progressing to the Nation League's final in 2023. The United States, as defending champions of the inaugural tournament, will be seeded as one of the leading three nations along with the teams that qualify for the World Cup, quali um, World Cup finals, including the fourth place side. Who will compete in an inter-confederation playoff in june and that is what we were aiming for we didn't get that as it stands the four top seeded teams in part one will comp compromise um 
USA, Canada, Mexico, and either Costa Rica, El Salvador, or Panama who are chasing the fourth place in the World Cup qualifiers. Jamaica will go into part two with sides competing in the World Cup qualifiers. These teams are the likes of Honduras, the likes of Honduras people, and also um, El um, Costa Rica. Also, Costa Rica um, is one of those teams who will we will be um, competing uh, against. But um, as you know, I'm I'm gonna read a little bit further in the into the details. Um, so, also it's saying that there's there's also two other teams who will be facing off to see how they can um, get that third spot between El Salvador and Panama. So there's there's a lot of a lot of a lot of stuff happening in regards to who will get or who want to get um who want to get that that, that other spot in, in in the nation league all right so curacao are the standout danger in part three other nations are grenada martinique and suriname although the run-up run-up run -up spot in league a does not result in being rewarded the stakes are high to avoid finishing rock, rock, rock bottom of the group as well as results in being relegated to league b for the next nation league competition league b compromises um league, sorry league, league b comprises of 16 teams with four groups with four groups of four nations and the heavyweight sides of haiti nicaragua and trinidad and tobago the fourth place in each league group uh, league b group will drop to league c um st kitts and navis are eye-catching side in the 13th league 13 team league c and features minnows such as cayman islands Turks and Turks and Caicos. Why would they call call them minnows? <laughs> that 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 kind of disrespectful. That's kind of disrespectful. Pfft, I think. I think that's kind of disrespectful. But that's how that's how it sets up people at the, in the nation league. Um, we will be featured um, with the likes of Honduras, Costa Rica, and El Salvador or Panama in in in, in our group. Um, but we will see. Let me see if I get that right. El Salvador or Panama? Yes. So that's that is the part that we're we're going to be we're going to be in. Um, troublesome. Who should I? Who would I think would be um, dangerous in this part? Mm. Who would I think? Uh, who do you guys think would be Panama? I would say Panama. Panama. Yeah, Panama would will really be will really be a threat in 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 that in that spot. I, I do think Panama will be a threat in that part. Yeah, I do think Panama might be the biggest level of threat. But we have to, at some point in time, get that mental aspect out of the way in regards to playing against these type of teams. At some point in time. So, that part will be comprised of Jamaica, Pan Jamaica Panama, Honduras. And then now, what, 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 I get it wrong. Let me let me confirm. I, it's, 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 it is Honduras... These are Jamaica, Honduras, and Costa Rica. Then in between El Salvador or Panama. Yes, Panama or El Salvador. But the three teams already in are Honduras and the remaining two sides from Costa Rica, El Salvador, and Panama. So these are out of that. I think I would say I would go for maybe Panama and Costa Rica. I think so. Maybe El Salvador might not make it. Maybe. Maybe. I, I can't predict the future. But it's still a good look. I do think that we, it's, it's a good test for the reggae boys. Um, we'll see what when the draw comes in April. What, what's going to come out of that? We'll see what's going to come out of that. But, but people, I won't go any further. As you know, military guna TV people. Make sure that you smash the like button. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, people, we will see you guys. See you guys again. Peace out.